In this video, we'll cover the historical data that's collected by MT-Link I. There's alarm history, program history, signal history, macro variable history. These different histories can be easily downloaded as a CSV file by clicking on the download CSV arrow. This will download the file and you can open it in either LibreOffice Calc or Microsoft Excel. The data collected by MT-Link I is stored in a MongoDB and can be accessed by third-party software to create custom reports and analytics or use in MES or ERP systems. There is also a report output function. To set this up, let's first take a look at the report schedule setting, which we find in the MT-Link admin tool. So under the button of report schedule setting, there are three report types, daily, weekly, and monthly. You can schedule when to output a report and the coverage period. These options vary depending on the report type selected. You can also manually output a report. To schedule a report to execute, select Schedule Output choose the machines I wish to report on. I'm going to run a daily report and I have two shifts starting at 6 a.m. and I would like to have a daily report for the previous day ready each morning when the first shift starts. So I'll ensure I have select daily. The output time for my report I want it at 5.30 in the morning. I'll just type that in. The start time for my shift is 6 a.m. and with two shifts I'm going to have 16 hours and then I'll just say register and now I have scheduled report to run every day starting at 5.30 a.m. for the previous day. However, before running a report, you must first prepare a report template beforehand. MT-Link I provides default report templates. They are located under the FANUC MT-Link I template report folder. There are daily, weekly, and monthly report templates in the languages of Japanese, English, and Chinese. The language the report will run in is determined by how the software has been set up on the system setting. Changes to a report template will be global for all machines. However, if you add an underscore and the name of the machine to the template file name, then the template will be specific for just that machine. Note that duplicates of all the original reports are contained in a subfolder called sample. So if you make a mistake or desire to revert back then simply copy the original file from the sample folder back to the report folder. Now let's open up one of the daily report templates. You can alter the formatting of the cells and graphs. It is also possible to alter the data used in the actual report by altering what's known as the keyword with a prefix and a suffix. Depending on the report type, the available prefixes and suffixes will vary. This is out of the manual which shows the differences. Suffixes um, can be in time, counts, averages, maximums, and minimums. 
if a suffix is full time is used, then the total time within a summary period can be obtained in seconds. Uh, full time can be used in a, as a denominator for calculating ratios. For an item to be used as a suffix in a report, it first must be set up in the machine and equipment settings that it's being collected. How to enable the signals is covered under the video on how to add a machine. Now let's add a signal to our default template. We'll come to this uh, blue bar and in this case this is where I'm going to enter in the signal name. Now I previously have designed it and it's in the equipment setting. So I'll come to the equipment setting. Select my machine. And in this case, I want to uh, report on my feed rate override knob. However, you could do this for other signals as well, such as spindle load, temperature, etc. So I'll open up the signal. I'll highlight and copy the status name of my signal. Come back here. And I will paste it and then I add in a dot and I want to do an average so it's AVG average now when I click the create keyword button it will automatically populate going down this column all of the different prefixes Now at this point, I'll need to go to the analysis page, which is where my graphs are, and I'll need to add in the information so that it obtains it from the data page. So I'll take what's existing here, and I'll just copy this down. And instead of disconnect time, this is going to be feed rate. And I'm going to make some modifications since I'm not going to be pulling data from column I but column J I need to do a global replace and I want to get rid of the slash 3600 because this data is not time-based and finish up some formatting oh, I'll make this also change the format of the number Okay. I'd like to also add it up here, so I'll insert a couple of rows. Okay, uh, something else I'd like to do uh, just as far as formatting, uh, I'd like to make it so that only numbers that are non-zero are displayed, so that's a little bit easier to see. So I'll set if the cell value is equal to zero, I'll set the formatting of the color of the font to white, that way I'll only be able to see when there's actually some data collected here. 
I'll also change so that this data being collected is on the secondary axis. So instead of time-based, this is going to be percentage-based over here. Now I'm going to do this just for my robo drill machine. So I'm going to say save as. And here I'll put underscore robo drill underscore one. So now I've created a template just for this machine. Now we'll close this and let's execute the file to test it out. We'll go back to our admin tool, report schedule setting, we'll select manual output, select our machine, I'm going to do daily and I'll set this up for yesterday. Start time 6 a.m. I'll do 16 hours. I'll hit run. report is completed and completed reports were stored in the uh, MTLink I report folder and you can change the report path by browsing to another folder in the system setting. So we'll go to system setting and here's the report path. Note you can set an alternate path on the server PC an external hard drive or a UNC path. However, you cannot select a network drive. Now, web users can access the reports directly from the report output icon. The initial date range, let's go to the report output. The initial date range period for each user is set in the authority settings, Can't be a, but this can be adjusted by the user to display a previous reporting period. To view a report, simply click on it, it will download, you can open it, and now we can see our report. Please refer to the admin tool manual for further information related to the reporting function. Thank you.